लेट्स लर्न अबाउट डी न्यूमरेबल सेट और वी कॉल एन्यूमरेबल सेट्स वट इज दिस इन केस ऑफ मॉडर्न अल्जेब्रा और एब्स्ट्रैक्ट अल्जेब्रा दिस सेट थेरी प्लेस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इक्वेलेंट सेट्स वेन वी कॉल टू सेट्स आर इक्वेलेंट सेट्स सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन वन एंड ऑन टू फंक्शन एंड वॉट इज द रेफरेंस टू इक्वेलेंट सेट्स वेन एवर we derive the word enumerable sets we need again the definition of bijection so let's define this word enumerable or denumerable set a set is called as enumerable or denumerable set if if there exist a bijection function from the set of all natural numbers okay we can define this as in other words let a be any non empty set which is said to be denumerable then a is equivalent to n okay here n is fixed again this is an equivalence relation so we can write a equivalent to n or n equivalent to a both are same let's go with example or uh, let's consider one function f from n to n minus singleton set 1 by f of n equal to n plus 1 provided this n belongs to capital n then directly we can tell that n is equivalent to n minus singleton set 1 okay see here then this set n minus singleton set 1 is denumerable set bijection we know the meaning of bijection when a given function is one one and on two then the function is called bijective function right so in our previous we have previous video we have uh, discussed that bijective function detail let's go with one more example f from n to z by f of n equal to n by 2 if n is even and this is equal to minus n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd we can observe this is also bijective function therefore n here n equivalent to z therefore z is denumerable set like this we define denumerable set whenever we define the word denumerable we again come with one more important topic which is called as countable set countable set what is the definition of this any set is said to be countable set if it is either finite or denumerable whenever a given set satisfies either this or this condition that is finiteness or denumerable property then that set is called as countable set by this consequence we can tell that all finite sets are countable sets and again all the sets which is equivalent to set of natural number then we call that set as denumerable set which is countable set therefore we can give the example that all empty sets are countable sets all finite sets are countable sets and all the sets which are equivalent to set of natural numbers set of uh, natural number is called as denumerable set that is set of integers set of rational numbers are all the examples for countable sets 
again we can define uncountable sets this uncountable set definition comes from the definition countable that is nothing but a set which is not countable is called as uncountable set for example set of irrational numbers irrational numbers are uncountable sets and set of real numbers are uncountable sets set of complex numbers are also countable sets these sets are uncountable sets these are the examples for uncountable set i hope we have understood the definition of denumerable countable and uncountable let's learn some more the concept of set theory in our next upcoming videos